Welcome back to the Ascension Atlas style Photoshop tutorial. You should have completed up through step 25 by this point, so let's keep moving. To double check, you should have layer ocean selected. All right, step 26. Duplicate the layer and name it Ocean Adjust. Control Alt J, name Ocean Adjust, okay. And clear the layer styles, Alt L Y A. Set the layer blending mode to overlay and opacity to 25%. Duplicate the layer and name it shelf. Control Alt J, name shelf, okay. Clear the layer styles, which includes the blending mode and opacity settings. So Alt L Y A. Create a new layer with default settings. Control Alt Shift N. Create a selection from layer base. So hold Control and click on the layer base thumbnail. Expand that selection. Alt S M E. Expand by 20 pixels. Okay. And feather the selection. Alt S M F. Feather radius 20 pixels. Okay. And select inverse. Control Shift I. So we did have the shape of the land selected. And when we do the inverse, now we have everything else selected. So like the water areas. Now fill with foreground color, which is black. Alt backspace, deselect, control D, and then the merge down command, which will merge layer one into layer shelf, control E. Select color range, Alt S C. We'll set select to sampled colors, fuzziness 150. Delete the selected pixels, delete, and then deselect, control D. If you don't know this, when we have a selection in the canvas like we just did, when you press delete, it will delete just those pixels. However, if there is no selection made, then pressing delete will delete the entire layer. So if I hit the delete key now, layer shelf would be deleted, but we don't want to do that. Set the layer fill to 0%. Now we're going to add a color overlay layer style. Alt L Y V. We'll set the blend mode to overlay. Set the color to white. F F F F F F. And opacity to 25%. Okay. Add a bevel and emboss layer style. Alt L Y B. This is the same layer style dialog box we just had open for the color overlay. Here you can see the color overlay and I could click there and see its settings. I closed and opened it again to show you the keyboard shortcuts. So if you don't want to do that, you could just click the other style to add it. Okay, so for the bevel and emboss style, let's set the style to outer bevel, technique chisel soft, Depth, 20%. Direction isn't mentioned, so we'll just skip that. Size, 32. We'll set the angle to minus 30 degrees. Highlight mode, linear dodge, and opacity for that will be 33%. Shadow mode, linear burn, and the opacity for that is 33% as well. Okay. Now we're going to add a contour layer style, and I don't think there's a keyboard shortcut for that. So let's just double click the layer thumbnail to load the layer style dialog box again. And we want to add the contour layer style right here. For the contour, click the thumbnail to load the contour editor and then click on the diagonal line to add a point. So for our first point, we'll set the input to 25. 
and output as two, and then click the line to add a second point. So our second point is 95 input and output 85. And then you can click new and type a name like Atlas Shelf and hit enter if you wanna save this for later. You can see I've already done that previously, so I don't need to. Okay, confirm the shape and okay, we'll confirm the layer style dialog box. Select layers shelf, ocean adjust and ocean. Click to select layer shelf and then you can hold control and select the other two layers to add them to your selected layers. Group those layers together, control G. And let's rename our group to ocean group. So double click the group name, type ocean group. Okay. Okay, the ocean and ocean shelf is all set up. So now let's start working on the land. Unhide and select layer land. So click the eye icon next to the layer to unhide it. Duplicate the layer and name it hills. So control alt J, name hills, okay. Now we'll do a difference clouds filter. So filter menu, render, difference clouds. And repeat that difference clouds filter again. Control F. Now duplicate the layer and name it mountains. Control Alt J. Name mountains. Okay. Hide layer mountains. So click the eye icon and select layer hills. Add a noise filter. So filter menu, noise, and add noise. Set the amount to 5%. Distribution is Gaussian, and make sure monochromatic is checked. Okay. I'll zoom in a bit so you can see the noise here. All right, unhide and select layer mountains in the layers panel. And we'll do a lighting effects filter here. So just like in step 25, the tutorial for step 55 is different depending on which version of Photoshop you have. So you'll see two links in a moment, one for CS6 and one for CS5 and earlier versions. So click the appropriate link for your version and we'll see you in the next video.